Are you an HP Omen Intel user and want to know how to have access to your memory and upgrade? You found the right video. Do you wish that your HP Omen Gaming Hub looked like mine? Where you can go into the overclocking and this magic little tab shows up? I'm going to show you how to do this today. Here we go. What's up, everybody? It's JDWTV here, back again. Uh, I am going to show everyone how to be able to gain access to your memory so that you can upgrade your RAM without having to buy HP-specific RAM on an Intel uh, HP Omen. And I'm going to try to go through this as slow as I can so that you guys can follow along and it will be very simple for you, even though it's extremely difficult for me. Uh, I, I hope this helps you guys out and uh, please leave a like and subscribe if it does. I would very much appreciate it. And if you if you notice at the end of the video, I will be in a different shirt than the beginning. Yesterday, I recorded the whole thing as I did it on my computer. And unfortunately, my computer, uh, you have to restart your computer at one point. And I forgot to stop my recording first and I lost all the footage. So. I'm going to walk through you, walk you through this the best I can. And uh, I apologize that I lost the first half of the footage and have to do this in a, a reverse type action. But just follow along. You'll still be able to do it just fine. It's, it's not too bad. Just, just follow along. And if you have any issues, let me know. All right. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going, if you have next uh, NZXT, uh, cam software on your computer that monitors your temperatures, you're going to need to erase that app first because uh, that works along with the XTU software and will not allow you to do the process properly. So just go ahead and erase that. Second thing you're going to do, come over here to device manager and your search be nice and easy to find. Go to software components. And when you scroll down, you're going to see all these Intel XTU component devices, right? Go through one at a time, right click, un uninstall device. It'll ask you if you want to erase all the software associated with it. Click the box, box yes, uninstall. Do not restart your computer when it asks you if you want to restart. Go ahead and go through each one, uninstalling each one. Okay. Do not restart your computer because you got more stuff to do. So just tell it no when it asks you. Once you install every single one of these, then you're going to want to open up this here. You're going to want to go into your Windows C file or your hard drive, sorry, uh, program files. And right here will be an Intel. And you should see an Intel XTU Extreme Tuning underneath this Intel R chipset device software folder. You're going to want to erase that folder. Okay, and then close this down. Uh, after that, you're going to want to go right here, type in REG, registry edit sh editor should come up. This is the part of the video you really need to be careful. Take your time. Make sure that you're erasing the right thing, because if you erase the wrong thing, you could destroy your entire computer. And I don't want that for you, so be extremely careful here. Okay, you, you don't want to delete the wrong thing. So what you're going to want to do is when you first open this up, it'll probably look either something like this or perhaps like this. Okay, you're going to have H key class root, H key current user. That's the one you want. Just click the little arrow. All these are going to open up. It's going to look like this. Go to the software, click the arrow. All these are going to open up. Find Intel. Okay, open it up, make sure it says XTU, XTU service. Erase this folder, erase this folder, just right click, delete, right click, delete, and then right click, delete the Intel subfolder. Once you've done all that, all of the XTU 
newer software will be off of your computer. Okay. So you'll have a completely clean computer of XTU software. If that's what you want. You're going to want to restart your computer at this point. Once you restart your computer and it boots back up, go to Microsoft Explorer, or whatever browser you use, it doesn't matter. Just type in older version Intel XTU. Okay. If you want to be extremely specific, it's 6.5.2.38. Okay. Once you open it up, it's going to come up 6.5.2.40 download. Same thing. It's fine. Get it from text spot. It's a trustworthy site to download it. You'll be safe. Go ahead and search it yourself to make yourself feel good. You know, I did. Click download. It'll download. Then you open it up, say install. And that's going to be about it. After you download the Intel XCU software at the, at the end there, you're going to need to restart your computer again to make sure you have, uh, so that Intel XTU software can take full control. So after you download the XTU software, just restart one more time. So you'll be restarting your computer twice during this program twice. Okay. Now, after all that fun stuff, we are back. And as you can see in our Omen gaming hub, we now have control of our memory. You can add new memory in there, upgrade it. It's fantastic. Who's your boy? You can go into the Intel Extreme Tuning. Go right in here to your memory. You have full control of all your memory, your profiles, all that stuff. You're welcome. I figured it out. I feel pretty happy about this. This was not easy. Now, look, if, if you have trouble doing this, it, you need to make sure that you have all the old drivers off your computer. It can be very difficult sometimes if you run into issues. Please just send me a message, you know, or leave a comment. I will walk you through it. And you can get this done on your Intel Omen and not deal with their stupid thing trying to stop you. You're welcome. Please, please help your buddy out. Subscribe, like, we'll talk to you next time.